guys here is just telling me how much she loves military boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, these, are the, <laughs> these are the guys uh, we had two weeks to wish about to Iraq. Wait, we're still in Iraq? We're not out yet. Another war that never ends. Yeah. Well, in that case, what do you guys want to drink? First one's on the house. Thank you. Hey! Tequila. Is tequila gold enough to drink tequila? Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Double that. Copy that. I'll have a Coke. Mmm. Okay. My kind of guy. Hell yeah. Could you throw in some lemon slices with that? <laughs> How about you pace yourself, bro? And it begins, bro. Welcome back, everybody, to TMA3. <laughs> that was a scene of the all-new Netflix romantic drama. It's called Purple Hearts. And our next guest did just about everything for this movie. <laughs> Actress, writer, singer, executive producer, and she is a dear friend of the show. Everybody, Sophia Carson oh my in the God. building. Is this your first time in studio on this on GMA3? We've had it you is, on. actually. Is. When we first did it, I was shooting this movie. I'll be look at I this was, full circle moment. It was Thursday when I was shooting the movie. Uh, well, congrats on everything. We Thank haven't seen you. you since the red carpet for the yes, Oscars yes. out in LA. So so much is going great for you now. The movie here we call it a romantic drama. Um, it kind of is a story about you trying to defraud the government. Let, you go through and explain what happens yeah, it's, here. It's a pretty unique love story. So essentially, I play Cassie, who's this badass, fearless young woman who has this passion to fight against injustice. And she is, you know, the daughter of an immigrant, a recently diagnosed type 1 diabetic who's buried in debt and can't afford the insulin that she needs to survive. Now, she lives in Oceanside, which is a military town in San Diego. And um, it's actually based on true stories of military couples that marry for health benefits because they're in such desperation. So she meets a Marine and they really dislike each other, as you saw. Yes. But they have to get married because they each need money for different reasons. And it's kind of our love story begins then and they begin to fall in love after they've been married. And uh -huh. I wanted to ask you about that couple yeah. kind of relationship and that background. What intrigued you about that? You know, because it's not the typical way Absolutely. that you see most people yeah. get together. It is in a such film. a unique story, and I fell in love with Cassie and Luke's story so deeply because they're two people from two such different worlds two separate colors, right? Red and blue, who all they saw were each other's political views and, and the division rather than their connection. And yet, through the power of love, they see each other for human beings and they begin to fall in love. And it's such a beautiful love story that is such a metaphor for a message that I think the world needs now more than ever. It's a love story, but they, the, it's so weird. You get married first and then the falling and in love And then the falling takes, in love happens, yeah. Takes place. But there, the, this movie, is, as sweet and, and wonderful moments as it has, there's, you, you throw in Very important, some, yeah. some topics. Absolutely. Some topics having to do with immigration, what it yeah. means to be an American, yeah. uh, what, war, soldiers, and, and not holding the yeah. soldier accountable for what the soldier had. Why was it important to kind of get some of those messages? Because they kind of are woven in the entire movie. Very much so. I mean, Cassie's unafraid to say exactly what she thinks when she no. thinks it. And she's been she's having to fight her whole life for justice within the system. And as you know, TJ, I'm so passionate about using yeah. my voice and attaching myself to projects that can mean something to the world. So it was so important that this really did bring up some really important social political messages, like you mentioned. Now, I want to get it right. You, uh, you executive produced. Yes. Acted, you helped with the casting. Yeah. You wrote how many original songs? I wrote the soundtrack. The entire soundtrack. Yeah. Wait, did I miss some role that you did that? I want to give you. Full I think credit that's here. everything. How are you going to top that the next time? Thank you. I know it was Amazing. it was such an honor to have been trusted in by Netflix and by my incredible director Liz Allen, who we could not have done this without, um, to kind of take on this role, this decision making role, and um, I'm so happy and, and I'm so grateful that everyone gets to see it so soon. Look, I I look. It's great to finally have you in studio. Yo, we are absolute fans around here. Thank You're you. always such a great guest. And did you all catch it? Her first time in studio. First answer she was given, she used the phrase badass. Did you all hear that? Like, she, that's the way to come in, Sophia. Is that okay? That's right. Way to come in hot. Yeah. I love Is that it. okay? Right. Am I allowed to say <laughs> Of course that? you are. Of course you are. All right, Sophia, it's so good to have you. Thank always you guys so much. And we want you to know Purple Hearts will begin streaming on Netflix this Friday. That's what you need to know on this Tuesday. Thank you for spending part of your day here with us. For all of us here at ABC News, including Dr. Ashton Robes, who is on vacation right now, and for Sophia as well. Everybody, have yourself a good day. <laughs>
there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.